If I sound happy, it's because I am in a great mood. I got my hands on a Redmi K30 Pro, 8 GB of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, and I think that this is going to be one of the better value models that you can get this year. It's got the fastest specs being the LP DDR5 RAM, UFS 3.1 storage, which according to all the leaks will be faster than the components that we have on the upcoming OnePlus series of devices. And guys, here in Vietnam, I paid approximately uh, $450 for this device, pretty close to MSRP in China. I've got my Redmi K20 Pro here. I've got the original box that it comes with. And let's just do the unboxing right here. Packaging feels excellent and premium in the hand. Take out the box and of course, we're going to have the SIM ejector tool and we're going to have a hard plastic case. This case feels identical to the case that we got on the Redmi K20 Pro. A thin case will protect the device from bumps and scratches. Now here on the Chinese version of the device, here we have the 33 watt charger. It is a quick charge three compatible charger, meaning that if your device is not a Xiaomi device, it will charge at a maximum of 18 watts, uh, which is maybe a little bit disappointing for some people that it's not a quick charge four charger, but that's not much you can do. Now here on the cable, we have a nice red accent. It's gonna be interesting to see if I can use my aftermarket Basius cables that I know and love with it. And here it is guys, the star of the show, the Redmi K30 Pro. And here it is. Now this back is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and peel this sticker off. Now this is for sure going to be a fingerprint and scratch magnet, but I must say compared to the in-hand feel of the Redmi K20 Pro, this thing feels just like a slightly larger version of the device, almost like a Redmi K20 Pro XL. The camera hump on the back is quite pronounced and if we compare the camera humps, you guys can see the Redmi K30 Pro, definitely a larger camera hump than what we have on the Redmi K20 Pro. Power on the device, we'll fast forward for that for you guys. And as you guys know, we've got the SIM ejector tool on the bottom, we've got the USB type C port, headphone jack on top, and of course, the pop-up camera. I just got my first vibration on it, and I have to say the haptics right out of the box feel absolutely premium. And here it is, guys. This big 6.7 inch AMOLED display feels absolutely premium in the hand. Haptics feel, let's see, let's get a typing test on it. Wow, guys, I gotta say, just from the initial hands-on, that new haptics engine that it has is absolutely incredible. Right out the box, let's see what this camera can do. Let's turn on HDR on, and let's go ahead and get an ultra-wide shot. Really, really fast camera, guys. Really saturated and punchy colors. And now we have what appears to be a 2X zoom, although I'm not sure if this is gonna be a 2X optical or just a crop and yeah, guys. So at, there's been many questions about what cameras this device has. This is just using the stock camera 
uh, and cropping in, but we have a macro mode. And let's take a look at this Redmi K20 Pro through the Redmi Okay guys, a big reason that I wanted to get this Redmi K30 Pro over the Redmi K20 Pro is I do tons of headphone reviews and I don't have a dedicated macro lens for my uh, reviews. And being able to use the Redmi K30 Pro in the uh, macro mode and being able to shoot HD video for you guys is going to allow me to get really great uh, 1080p HD video in macro when you guys want to see up close parts of headphones and it's going to be part of just my everyday workflow. This color again guys absolutely stunning. Now guys as with all my reviews I'm going to be doing tutorials on how to unlock the bootloader of it. It's actually the first thing that I'm going to do right now is apply to have the bootloader unlocked. I'm going to go ahead and apply a debloat for this to use this device as much as possible to answer your questions for it. So if you guys wanna see the D bloat, you guys wanna see custom ROMs, go ahead, hit that subscribe button right here. Hit me up on Twitter, and that's gonna be the best place for me to answer questions for you guys. Uh, it's gonna be where we can have a great conversation about this stuff, and I'll have links to all that stuff in the description down below. And until next time, it's been Mitchell coming to you guys from Hanoi. Peace.